game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anyway, I can guess anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh... You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just... playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it.
up in here. It's too fast. It's a fun game. It's not just when you first began it. You got what you want. Now you can hardly stand it though by now you know it's not going to stop it's not going to stop and so no it's not going to stop until you wipe so no, it's not going to stop so just give up. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you're found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that... This? Us? It's just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. 
You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Yeah, we'll see about that. if it was near here. Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hmm. What are these numbers? Oh. 
someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> hey! Switch! Oh, stop being a uh, crap! Attack! Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of a scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously?
That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Maybe... Maybe you should go. Look, I gotta help Abby! Go! He might be hurt too! That shotgun's got a hell of a spread! Be careful! Gotta get, we'll get a guy. Can we walk? Can I? Come on, got a guy. Come on, let's get back to the fire.
Jesus. There's a half-naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? If you close your eyes. No, oh, oh. what are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves, but Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good, but... I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose.
Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Yeah, yeah. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, law just sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? What? No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Brian! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> no nope. prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. 
Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. Thinking about it. How could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth the raven nevermore.
Guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, just thought you should know, I am nailing this ladder climbing. Ah. Oh. All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trapdoor and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore
Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get, we'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but... Some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> this will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully, we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops. With guns, we need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, 
help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. Tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, <sighs> that time again, is it? Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you.